Welcome back. I'm Brandon, the H Bar Bull, and I had to do a flash update because we had some really big news hit the Hedera ecosystem, and it's around real world asset tokenization. You guys have heard me talk about how Larry Fink said the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be tokenization of securities. He cited a few reasons for this, including instantaneous settlement and reduced fees. Now, he was saying this over two years ago, and at the time, I'm pretty sure he not only said this about tokenization, but said that it was going to be on public networks like Hedera. But the question was, where was this going to take place? On what public networks could this possibly take place? And we got an answer today. One of the places is going to be Hedera. So what was announced today? It's pretty simple. A BlackRock U.S. Treasury market fund was tokenized on Hedera with Archax and Onera. Now, this was an Archax-led initiative, but it was done in collaboration with BlackRock, Hedera, and Onera. Now, we've seen BlackRock take tokens like Bitcoin and Ethereum and put them in traditional financial wrappers. Of course, we have iBit, their very popular Bitcoin ETF, but this is going in the opposite direction. This is taking traditional financial assets and putting them in a tokenized wrapper, in this case on Hedera. And I think in the long term, this could have an even bigger impact on the crypto industry. The other thing that jumped out at me is Onira. I hadn't heard about them in the past, but they seem like they're a good fit for collaboration collaborating with Hedera on some of the things that we're trying to do. I did find a video that had some more information around exactly what they're doing, so let's check that out. Private markets are a hundred times bigger and more complex than crypto. On the supply side, there are dozens of tokenized asset sources, implementing different blockchains, metadata, and flows to solve different use cases and regulations. On the distribution side, there are banks, exchanges, and broker-dealers all over the world. How do we connect them all? The financial industry came together to design FinP2P, an open source routing and settlement protocol, which Onera is deploying. Asset sources plug in and simply publish their assets. Onera aggregates and normalizes the flows and data, giving financial institutions a single API for all digital securities. The result? Assets get global digital distribution and liquidity. Investors get online access to investments, secondary liquidity, and loans against any private digital security. Come on board Onera, where we take away the enormous complexity of trading private securities from across the industry by giving your clients a unified digital securities wallet. So again, Onira seems like a really good fit for the Hedera ecosystem. Over the past few years, we've seen a lot being done within the realm of real-world asset tokenization on Hedera. A lot of that has been done with real estate, with the likes of Red Swan and Toco. Uh, but we've also had things like Aberdeen tokenizing a fund, a very similar situation to what we have here. They again used Archax and they tokenized a $16 billion money market fund on Hedera. We also saw things like the Digital Commodities Exchange, and they were pretty much going down the line of having a traditional market, but with Web3 enhancements, and eventually they wanted to go to a full DeFi-like model. So, of course, it was huge news when Archax decided to tokenize that fund for Aberdeen, and Aberdeen is a huge money manager with over $600 billion worth of assets under management, but are pretty small compared to BlackRock, who I think has $13 or $14 trillion worth of assets under management. They are the largest asset manager in the world. The implications for Hedera on this it cannot be overstated. The main thing is, of course, these are going to be smaller proof of, well, this isn't a proof of concept. This is this is getting to the next stage. This is going to be an actively traded fund. So it's beyond the proof of concept phase, but they're still testing things out, seeing how they work, seeing how they trade. But of course, all of these smaller products can serve as blueprints for what can be done throughout the rest of the financial industry. Obviously, Larry Fink thinks this is going to be the future. We don't know exactly what that's going to look like. Are they going to use a pure DeFi model with smart contracts? You know, we can handle about 300, 350 transactions per second per shard, but you could have multiple shards. Or will we use DAPnet? We don't really know what that's going to look like, but these are also going to be bearer assets. So you could have person-to-person -person transfers of securities. Now, of course, laws are going to have to get tweaked with this new technology, but it's just exciting to see. And why is this so impactful for Hedera? Because if Hedera becomes the de facto standard for building these kind of applications, 
the amount of fees generated for the network could be really impressive. Just one shard's worth of smart contract calls could make us sustainable at our current burn rate. And that would include a significant staking reward for HBAR holders. Now, I'm not sure how much the crypto media is going to grab a hold of this story. It should be one of the top crypto stories of the month, but I'm sure we're going to get some more information about this as the week goes on. I certainly want to get Rob's take and Shark Bites for Friday. So make sure you tune in on Friday. That's all we have for now. We'll see you in a few days.